the popularity of recreational fishing in the Carolinas has skyrocketed. Not only that, but these amateur anglers have been accidentally catching more than they bargained for. Sharks. A lot of people are heading out fishing and catching sharks by accident, and then they're having to deal with them. By law, almost all of the sharks must be thrown back into the water. Known as catch and release, it helps support a healthy marine environment. But there could be an unintended consequence. In other animals, like dogs, studies have shown a correlation between trauma and increased aggression. Could the same be true for sharks? And could this lead to attacks on people? Okay, good morning everybody. Let's do a quick briefing, okay? Marine biologist Dr. Dan Abel investigates the level of stress a shark experiences as a result of being caught. To try to understand how much stress is caused by being caught on a hook and line, we'll go catch a shark on a long line, we'll take a blood sample, so by analyzing the blood, you can determine the effect of stress on the physiology of, of an animal. Okay. What we're doing is using a small fine-tooth shark as bait. Small sharks are prey of big sharks, and so they make excellent bait for these big sharks. Okay. It doesn't take long before Dr. Abel finds what he's looking for. Oh, but not a little shark. Let's get this one on, on the boat. This is a common shark in this area. This is a sandbar shark. The researchers carefully secure the shark by holding it either side of the jaw. Next, Abel takes a blood sample. There's a caudal artery and vein right beneath the vertebral column. So we're pulling some blood out. After the shark is released back into the water, Abel takes the blood sample to his lab. The blood can be analyzed for a variety of different kinds of chemicals that might indicate whether a shark is uh, stressed or not. Research like this shows conclusive results. Sharks show a suite of chemical responses, and evidence suggests that stress hormones are elevated. The hormone in question is cortisol, the same chemical that produces the fight-or-flight response in other vertebrates, including humans. When you hear a siren coming down the road, you know, and so your heart races a little bit, your pupils dilate, same thing with any animal under stress. Studies like these clearly show that sharks experience significant levels of stress when they are caught. So could this heightened state make them more likely to attack humans? It comes down to a shark's response to the cortisol hormone itself. What they want to do is get away as fast as possible from whatever the source is. If it's an orca chasing a white shark, for example, the white shark is thinking about, how can I get away? Which means recently hooked sharks are looking for safety rather than their next meal. If you're in a theater and someone yells, fire, you're not going to stop at the popcorn stand on your way out, right? You're going to just want to get away. And it's the same thing with sharks. So if the spike is not the result of captured sharks being released back into the ocean, Perhaps the answer lies in the location where they're being caught. In July 2019, an extraordinary event was videoed off the coast of North Carolina. Two fishermen hooked four sharks in the space of just 40 minutes. The video seems to point to a disturbing trend. North Carolina, we have a lot of people who go out fishing for sharks, but a lot of people recently have been catching sharks by the beach. So what's causing this apparent increase in sharks so close to land?